Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? I'm Ashley Fields with Yoder Dress. Today is Friday, February 19th, 2021. Y'all, um, it has been, boop, there we go. Okay, got it ready. It has been a crazy week here in Texas. Um, lots of power outages and bad weather and uh, as the uh, power's been coming back on. A lot of people have been dealing with busted pipes and all sorts of craziness going on. So I'm glad to be able to be here with you guys. I'm glad that um, we did not sustain uh, damage at our house. Um, so, you know, we're just keep on trucking along. But I do feel for a lot of other Texans um, surrounding us right now. I know everybody's going through a lot. So as you hop in, say hello. Hey, Deborah, how are you? I hope that you're staying warm. I hope you haven't had any issues at your house. Uh, thank you for coming and hanging out with me. Y'all, I was supposed to do this live uh, Monday at two, but I didn't have power Monday. And so we've had to kind of rotate some things around and move uh, things on our schedule. Hey mom. Uh, so here's what we're gonna be working on today. Um, First thing I'm going to go ahead and, and get start with it started with is doing that dry brushing on the bottom. I only did a little bit of dry brushing right here so that way I could paint in um, my grass that's kind of coming out of here. If I were to do that dry brushing over top of that grass, obviously I'd have to repaint that and I didn't want to do that. So I just did a little bit of dry brushing. Hey Amy, how are you hon? Hope you're staying warm. Yes, all right y'all, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I started with one coat of white as a base, and then um, down here I came in and did reindeer brown. And if y'all look up close, you can totally see through that paint, uh, but that doesn't really matter because I'm gonna do a dry brush over top of it. So uh, one coat of reindeer brown, and then I used a few different colors up here. So uh, on these eggs right here, this is sky blue, you've got coral, uh, a little bit of sea foam green, obviously purple, yellow, and pink. And then the grass section is just regular Christmas green. Hey, Carla. Uh, let's see. Amy says, doing good. We got propane today. Yay! That's awesome. Um, Y'all, we have Generac coming out to our house tomorrow to, uh, I thought I had a bunch of paper plates over here, to give us a quote on a whole home generator. And so, let me grab my plate real quick, but... Uh, we, after experience, all that we've experienced, my husband and I are like, no more, no, no. I guess it's time to invest a little money and get ourselves a, um, a home generator, which we live in, uh, we live in Conroe, right? So most, most everybody in the area, they have center point um, electricity or they have a, a provider of electricity that actually center point is the kind of main hub. Uh, but here where I live, we have somebody called Intergy. They are a Louisiana-based company. And so um, out here where we live, we are always dealing with power outages, constantly. The wind blows too much, it's too windy that day, we lose power. Um, it rains a little too much, we lose power. Uh, storms happen in Louisiana, we lose power. It's like literally happens here so often. And so my husband's like, uh, I'm done. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm over it. I'm just done. And I was like, I get it. So uh, we were coming back from HEB the other day, close to us, and they had opened a new Generac store recently. So we swung in there and uh, got our name on the list. And they called us and said, hey, they can come this week. I said, well, y'all come on. So uh, Amy says, we have Generac that now, that runs two houses. Best things we ever got, y'all. I can't wait. I'm so excited. One of these days, I will not be, uh, you know, stuck at the mercy of, of other companies. So, all right, y'all, I got that reindeer brown base. I've got my plate here. I have a little bit of shading brown, and I've got a little bit of camel. Um, anytime I do my, uh, oh, that brush is trash. Y'all, look at this brush. My, I've obviously got a lot of really short bristles right here, so it's trash. I can't, I can't do nothing with that one. I'll just get a whole nother one. Um, what was I saying? Generac, yeah, we just tired of being at the mercy of everybody else, you know. All, everything that's always going on. And y'all know down here, those of us that live down here, there's always a weather disaster, you know, right around the corner. There's always craziness going on. So, 
I hope all y'all are doing good and have your power back and are staying warm. I know it's all been a crazy week. We're all getting through it. Um, I wonder if any of you guys watching have any damage at your house. I really hope not, but I've unfortunately seen just so many posts of um, people with, you know, water pipes that busted and that sort of thing. All right, y'all, that's just a little bit of shading brown. Now, when it comes to my wheels, I'm just going to tilt the direction of my brush to follow along with the lines that are already inside of there. Hey, Karen, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well, babe. Doing a little bit of dry brushing on our egg cart. Right now, I'm just using a little shading brown. Y'all, you can um, really do it as dark or as light as you want. I keep it a little on the lighter side. That's just how I like it. Um, I was also thinking that this cart would be really cute in gray tones. So if you did uh, gray, I think it's gray 24 or 25. If you did that as the base, and then you could do um, a darker gray dry brush, meaning just mix a little bit of that regular gray with some black, and, I, and then do a little white on there. I think that would look really good. Okay. So there is just a little shading brown uh, dry brush. We're gonna go ahead and look and see it's harder. Sometimes you look up there in that camera angle and you could see stuff that maybe you don't really see in front of you. Uh, we're now gonna come back over top of this with a little bit of camel. And I really like to do dry brush with three different colors, meaning you got one base color and then you're using two different colors on top, a darker and a lighter. So that camel is just my lighter version. So it's kind of in the place of maybe using white, I'm using camel. Uh, so let's see, Amy says, we're so blessed to not have any busted pipes. The well froze, but we got it covered and thawed out. That is so awesome, Amy. I'm so glad to hear that. So glad to hear that, y'all. I, um... We went to the store last weekend uh, before the freeze happened and I was telling my husband that I was really worried about all the paint at the store um, freezing because paint freezes and I don't know if anybody's ever dealt with that, but it's literally trash. There's nothing you can do with it at that point. You have to throw it away. Um, it'll get hard at the bottom and liquid at the top and it's just no longer paint. And so we had brought... Um, an electric heater up there and mounted it on the ceiling. It's the same heaters I use here in my shop and uh, kept them right next to where those paint thing, paint jars were. So uh, Marcy's working the store this morning. She called me, I said, how's the paint? You know, cause it's just, it's little things like that you don't think of. Uh, but even then us, whenever the power was out, we had um, heaters going here in my shop because I have over 75 gallons of paint in here. And that's a lot of money. Uh, that if it gets frozen, you know, it's just gone and there's nothing I can do. So definitely it's been a week y'all, but I think we're all, we're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. So there is your base. Reindeer brown is the base shading brown and a little bit of camel on, uh, your dry brushing. Now we're going to go ahead and start shading everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the bottom of my cart and we'll do a little bit of shading brown. So we just use shading brown on some of that dry brush. We're gonna, again, use some shading brown um, here at the bottom. Let me see. Oh. I need to, um, my table's been kind of crazy, y'all. I've been painting these uh, gnomes behind me and uh, I have to really use a plate a lot with a lot of paints kind of set on my plate and I've been using a ton of different paint brushes. So my table has a lot more stuff on it right now that I don't typically use all the time and I really need to kind of clean it up. Hey, Danae, hey, Mary, or Mary Beth. Hey, Iris, how are y'all? Danae says, all good over here for now. Yay, that's so good, y'all. I think we got what? Is it gonna freeze one more night? Or is it two more nights? I don't know, but I do know we have warmer weather coming and I'm, I'm ready. I am so ready. Thank goodness uh, for my husband this last week. He's he's from Indiana, so you know snow ice doesn't bother him. So um, he was doing all the running around and driving of everybody because I was like, mm, nope, I ain't driving in that stuff. No, thank you. Not fun. Let's see if I can make sure and say, hey, Kathy, how are you doing, babe? Hope you're staying warm. 
Uh, we've been talking about this week, and it's just been kind of a crazy week, y'all. But we're almost done. What are we at, Friday? I swear every day this week I had to go look on my calendar <laughs> to see what day it even was because it's just been like one big long run on. Y'all, all I'm doing right now is I'm really just sticking uh, to the perimeter. And then as well as there's a few lines that kind of come across right here and I'm just doing those. That's it. This one, because there's that dry brush underneath, I'm not going to come in here and do a lot of swish marks or anything like that. So, all right, come over here now, do our, our wheels. And then again in here and here. Has anybody had the opportunity to paint this week? I know it's been a, a crazy week, but painting is I don't know about you guys, but for me, it definitely kind of helps to relieve stress. So I did find myself in here a couple of times uh, painting with no lights on just because that's, you know, that makes me happy. So we've made it through this week. It's not, we've not been too bad. And a little bit here. Oops, that line kind of went way off. Straighten it back out. Okay. So there is your dry brush with your shading here at the bottom. We're just going to rotate it and now start working towards the top. So, hey, Debbie, how are you? Um, hey, Deborah. Deborah says, I, brought the, I bought the wheelbarrow. Do you do the same dry brush um, as the cart? You know, uh, Deborah, on my sample photo, I don't have that sample here at the house. I went ahead and took those to the store so that it, when people are in the store, they can see it. But my sample photo, I did not, but I, I want to do a dry brush on that. Um, probably when we do our tutorial on that next week, I want to do a dry brush on the base and then just continue on with the regular shading over top. So I don't have that as far as a sample yet, but I am planning on doing that in my live. Uh, so, hey, hey, Debbie. Debbie says, howdy from Ohio. Feeling sad for y'all on the power outages. Uh, Debbie, we're finally on the upswing of it. Most of us have power back now. I think the only ones who are without are people that have damage done to the lines, which I know the, the linemen are out right now working to restore all of that. So, most of us are, thankfully, uh, we have power. I think a lot of people now are dealing with damage uh, from busted water pipes. So, uh, uh, Danae, uh, also FYI, we have Jaden this weekend. Oh, yes. Okay, girl, text me and we'll get our kids together. Uh, Kathy, have electricity, working on water and broken pipe issues. So can't wait to paint again. Oh, Kathy, I'm so sorry to hear that. I uh, hope you guys get it touched up and fixed up really quick. Like, um, unfortunately, I know a lot of people have been dealing with that. Danae says, heck no, haven't painted. It's too cold to do anything, but I will be tonight. Kathy's painting today. Awesome. Hey, Donna. Hey, Kathy. I'm glad, glad you are here to hang out. Okay, guys. Uh, now, on this um, grass, I guess you would call it, I'm trying to see. I used, I used like a teeny, teeny, tiny brush. And I don't know. Let me see. I think it's over here. No, no, no. Why is it that when I'm trying to find my, the brush I need, I can't find it? Because I only have like, I don't know, probably 200 brushes. Um, I'll use this one. Y'all, this one is a crafter's choice, a number six flat tip. It's really, really, it's tiny. Uh, but obviously because these, uh, the blades of grass are really thin, you're not going to want something thick in there because it'll make the entire thing a blob. So I just, uh, you know what? I'm gonna actually not use watered down paint. I'm gonna just use straight out the bottle. I notice sometimes when I'm trying to keep my lines real, real thin, um, to, sometimes for me, it's easier to not do the watered down paint. I've got a, got a bristle hanging out over here. Uh, but you know, everybody is a little different. Hey Selma, how are you? Uh, hello everyone from uh, Georgia. 
How is it in Georgia, y'all? I haven't been um, watching the news much, and obviously our news has been uh, mostly local stuff. So I'm not sure what's been going on, but I have heard that Mississippi is in having a, um, a really bad freeze and people are out of power and that sort of thing. No, I'm not liking this brush. I think it's too long. It's not giving me quite the coverage I want. So this is a number four. I'll try this one. I wish I could find the original brush I did my sample with. Uh, but I, I've also, what I was saying, y'all, this is me. I totally get off, uh, lose track of what I'm saying. Uh, but I, I have seen that a lot of other people in the United States have been going through just a crazy storm and all the winter, snow, cold. So hope everybody, no matter where you're watching from, is staying warm and I know it's been crazy. I'm ready for summer, y'all. I'm ready to go swimming. I'm ready for the sun to shine. I was telling my mom, I think last week, my anxiety has kind of been through the roof. And she said, well, why do you think it's like that? And I said, honestly, I think it's, it's, it's part of it's just not getting the sunshine I'm used to getting, not, not being able to be out in the warmth. And, uh, you know, a lot of times when it's sunny, I paint outside. I have easels and I set it up outside so I could paint underneath that sun. And I really do that because uh, it's fast. You know, the paint dries really quickly. So maybe that's part of some of it. I don't know. Every time winter comes around and it's just kind of cold and icky, it just starts to kind of kick up anxiety for me and depression. Neither of which are very fun. Notice how this brush really is, well, this one's probably not the best one, but I'm making it work. Um, this is a number four flat brush, so it's just really thin. Um, honestly, now that I'm sitting here looking at it, you really could just outline it with some dark green and not do shading, and I think it would be totally fine. I think I might need to get a little more paint. I even told myself that I needed to um, shade this grass before my live and then I was like, well, why did I tell myself to do that? Now I'm remembering why I told myself to do that because it is just takes a little long. It's a little more intricate. Uh, Zelma says it's been raining for four to five days. Ew. Ugh. I don't, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan when rain wants to stick around. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Deidre. How are y'all doing? Zelma, I hope it dries out there soon. Uh, just like crazy Texas weather, you know, we had all the crazy temps this week. And I think we'll be in like 60s, 70s, Sunday, Monday, something like that. Not 100% sure, but. That's definitely how it goes here, y'all. Y'all, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the paint that I've got inside that brush, just do a few swish marks. Again, coming over here. This brush that I'm using, it's one of those brushes, um, if you guys have been around for a while, I posted it, I think in the summertime. It was a pack of, I don't know, 12 or 15 brushes from Hobby Lobby's A Crafter's Choice pack and this was just one of those brushes inside of that crafter's choice. Um, and especially with these uh, gnomes that I've been working on behind me, I've been uh, using a lot of these smaller brushes. And quite honestly, most of them came out of that pack. I think it was, like I said, 12 or 15 brushes for maybe 10 or $15. It was very cheap, very affordable. Um, and the brushes, hey, I think they're pretty decent. All right, come in there. Do, do. I didn't quite like that one. All right, so that is Christmas green base and a little bit of a dark green shading. Now, the shading of the eggs should be a lot faster. All right, uh, on, we're gonna just start with, I think yellow. Y'all know me, I like to start with those lighter colors. So on my yellow, I'm gonna use shading yellow. Got to get this mixed back up. It's separated real bad. 
All right, and then, hmm, this one is a half inch flat tip brush. Um, it might be closer to like a number 12, if that's, uh, if you're looking for, sometimes shaders are done by numbers and sometimes they're done by sizes. And what we refer to as a shader is really just called a flat tip. Just taking a little bit of that shading yellow and coming in on all the parts that are yellow. All right, shading yellow is done. Let me cap that. I'm gonna wash out this brush and try to just keep reusing my same brush. So, what has everybody got going on this weekend? I, I don't even, my, I think my husband asked me yesterday, what are we doing this weekend? And he's been at home all week with us, because obviously the weather, and I'm like, I don't even, I haven't even thought about it. This week has just been so crazy. It's kind of thrown me for a tailspin. I think I probably need to go to the store and maybe check on inventory on some things. I really have no idea. Um, I think I need to look into some of that. I had to, uh, so Kathy says, I had to make orange. You had to make orange. Like for, for your paint, because you didn't have some. And get a little bit of that shading pink, y'all. I'm still going to use this uh, half inch flat tip brush. Picked up a little yellow, so I might get that off my brush. Come back. And now over here, hmm, I think I'm going to just stick with one side. Yeah, I'm going to just do one side. Uh, on that sample photo of this one that I had posted a few weeks ago, I painted it a little bit different, meaning the color choices. I, I actually came back in and added um, just a little bit more color and kind of I don't know, trying to make it a little bit brighter. So it's very similar to the one I posted as my sample, but I am doing it just a little bit differently. Not much, but just a little bit. All right, now my coral, I like to use shading orange. Uh, so if I have a coral base or I have a light orange base, I like to use shading orange uh, both, with both of those. Come in and just do a little bit here. And then a little bit here. Now, this is sometimes, I, this is just something I'm just going to talk about out loud so that maybe if some of you guys feel like this sometimes too. Uh, whenever I'm doing my Easter eggs, I kind of prefer them, my lines, to not um, always high or not highlight, excuse me, shade around the perimeter. So I'm really trying to kind of stick with like the top of the line. So here I'll do my purple and here I'll do uh, my teal, but then th that still leaves me with shading this part. So then I sit here and I go back and forth with, okay, should I shade that outside part too, or just stick with the internal lines? Kind of like here, obviously I didn't put any shading here or here. I'm kind of just doing those lines. Uh, but every time I paint Easter eggs, I always sit here and argue with myself in my head of how I want to do it. So this is what I'm doing for now, but I might end up having to come back in here and add a little more on your sides of the stripes if I don't like the way that this is going to turn out. But we'll have to see. Uh, Carla says, go to the store and do laundry. Yes, girl. Uh, we were able to, uh, luckily, uh, we have a well, so we haven't had to deal with water pressure issues, and we uh, we had a heater hooked up to our well the entire time. In fact, that heater's still hooked up to our well, and we're not taking the heater off until Sunday when the temperatures are not supposed to get below freezing. So we've had the luxury of being able to wash laundry as well as we've had friends bring laundry over for us to be able to wash for them. Uh, so I, I know how that is because... In our household, man, it's like the laundry can just get piled up really, really fast. My husband is uh, six foot ten inches tall, so if you can imagine just a couple pieces of his clothing, takes up almost the entire load. 
Now, when it comes to a sky blue, which is this egg right here and this egg and seafoam green, I use teal on all of those. So I am using teal right now. And yes, I'm doing it on both sky blue and seafoam green. I just personally think it has the best contrast uh, with both of them. So you got a little bit of teal shading. Now the only shading we have left is a little bit of purple and then we can start outlining. I'm not sure I'm gonna care for this because how I have that shading line here and every other shading line is going uh, horizontal, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Wash that brush back out. Get a little bit of shading purple. Also, by the way, y'all, I'm, I'm not getting my entire brush wet with paint. I'm only trying to get the corner of that brush. And that's so that I can keep my line from being too thick and too fat and really overtaking our piece. I don't want, I don't want it to look like that. So I kind of just try to stick to just one side. And just bring in a little color. There is your shaded part. So on yellow, I use shading yellow. On coral, I use shading orange. Purple, I use shading purple. And then sky blue and seafoam green, I used teal. So everything is shaded. Let me hit it with the blow dryer for just a few and then uh, we should be good to start outlining. Hey Debbie, how are you? Have y'all got your, your busted pipes um, band-aid up? taken care of until you can get somebody out there. I've been thinking about you. turn this around and let that try to dry just a little bit more. Now on the bottom, anytime I have a brown tone, I always outline with uh, shading red instead of black. I feel like shading red is just a really good complement for the brown tones that we're using. And then also when you outline in different colors and then you have your piece brought all together at the end, it just really makes it pop as well. Uh, Debbie says, yes, pipes fixed. Uh, demolition starts Monday. I'm so glad you got your pipes fixed, girl. I'm sorry to hear about all that. Uh, but I'm glad to see that you've got some progress going. Uh, Kathy says, uh, yellow and red make orange, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Miss Victoria gave those of us in the um, Yarder Academy a paint mixing tutorial, I want to say last week maybe. And she also talked about complementary colors and just kind of the whole spill over the color wheel and how to use it. And it was just a lot of really great information. So those of you that are in the Academy, if you have not seen that video, you need to check it out. My line's getting a little thicker than I like, so sometimes when that happens, I just run my finger down and pick up that excess paint and just clean it right off right then. So, hey mom. Y'all, Mary has been, uh, she is trying out a new app that is called StreamYard. And StreamYard gives you the ability to go live with two different camera angles. So meaning you can have one camera directly facing down on that piece and it could be a lot closer. So you could see that a lot, hopefully a little bit better. And then the other camera angle facing the person painting or the person, you know, doing the video. And so she has been working hard trying to figure that out and learn it and doing a lot of test sessions. Um, 
to try to see, you know, get the microphone working and the right camera angles to work and all that sort of stuff. So um, she's been taking on a new kind of venture over here to try to help us uh, kind of up our game a little bit on our lives. So y'all be looking for some, some new lives coming out that are split screened with two different camera angles. I think it's gonna be really cute. Uh, Mary says, let me just say, the software is smarter than I am. <laughs> Oh, I get it. I so get it. Yeah, she went, uh, I was trying to watch her earlier and it was like echoing really, really bad on the split screen. So I was like, man, you probably, it's probably trying to record sound or push out sound from both cameras. And so it was coming out like real crazy sounding. Uh, so I know we were able to kind of get that issue resolved, but it's really going to be cool. I can't wait to see the split screen lives. I just think it'll bring it uh bring it to life a little bit more all right y'all also shading red you don't have shading red you can always just mix it it is uh black and red that's it and in fact i still hand mix our shading red um so the shading red that you see at the store is hand mixed by me um so it's not something that's all that hard you know to be able to create it for yourself if you need it but don't have it so this one is actually a lot lighter than some of my other shading red that i've been using but i think it looks good it's almost like a a deep wine kind of color I'm gonna keep working on it though. Yes, I know you will. You'll be going live on there soon, I'm sure. Y'all, I feel like I'm just moving like a slug. My husband asked me, is it gonna be an hour long live today and I said no I think 35 to 40 minutes and I've gotten pretty good at judging how long it might take uh, but I feel like I'm really moving slow so perhaps my um, estimation on my time today will be a little little off uh, him, he was wanting to go get something to eat earlier I was like after I get done with my live then we can go eat but before then I got too much stuff to do all right, y'all, there is that shading red base, I mean shading red outline on your brown tone base. So you've got reindeer brown um, as your base. Then you have shading brown and camel dry brush. Then you have shading brown uh, shading and then um, shading red outline. Hey, Stacy, how are you doing, hon? All right, let me cap this. And then we're gonna get some black. Y'all, typically we don't do black on Easter eggs. Typically we don't because it is very stark and just kind of bold and can become very gaudy. Uh, but I actually did do it on this pattern and I thought it looked okay. My brushes, I might have to switch brushes and use a different one. Hmm, let, me, let me just try this. I've been breaking in a newer brush so, so some of you, Debbie and my mom, will be really proud of me. Uh, good thing about the newer brush, as opposed to my old rickety raggedy one, is I can get a lot thinner lines with it. And so this pattern is perfect for like a newer script liner. Because it does have some thin lines like right here on your blades of grass. If I were doing this with my other script liner that's broken in and it gives me really, really wide strokes, this grass would end up looking like a big blob. So I'm trying to not make my lines too thick. I'm trying to keep them a little on that thinner side. There's that. Hey, Alma, how are you doing, babe? Alma says, I haven't looked at the calendar yet. Will you be doing the gnome behind you? I bought two of those blanks. Alma, I will be doing those 
um, next month in March. Y'all, that has honestly been uh, probably one of the funnest pieces I've painted ever. I just really enjoyed it. Now, it is a piece that I honestly spent a lot of time on, uh, more time than I normally do, but I think that's really what brought that thing together is all the different um, kind of patterns and things going on. So I actually, I think the first time I posted the photo, I did the kind of blue jean outfit, but then I was like, man, I think that I need a shirt with a different color. So I ended up doing a plaid shirt and then you got the blue jean pants and then obviously your uh, tie dye hat. And I just thought it looked so stinking cute. Also doing that beard in, in a different way and that gray, gray scale. And I used a, um, a round tip brush on the beard and it obviously you could see, it gives you a totally different look whenever you use a different brush. So I'm excited to do that tutorial with you guys. I think y'all are gonna love it. Uh, you might realize you need a lot more brushes because I swear to y'all I used a ton of different brushes um, on that piece that I don't typically use all that often. But I love, love, love the final product. I thought it looked really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting a little bit of outline over here. Hey, Brian, hey, Pam, how are you guys doing? Um, I, like I said earlier, I am choosing to do black on here. I know we don't typically do black on Easter eggs, uh, but I just liked how this turned out on my sample. I thought it turned out really cute. So I am sticking with the black. I don't know if anybody saw the um, chevron and polka dot egg sample photos I uploaded earlier, uh, but I absolutely love, love, love those color combinations. And I even sat here going, should I repaint these eggs to match those color combinations? I was like, no, 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 just leave it. Uh, but if you're struggling to find good color combinations, I, I thought that those sets kind of came out really good. And I am also somebody who, if I'm painting something or I'm painting multiple pieces that are gonna go out in my yard at the same time, I, I'm just somebody who wants them to be coordinated, you know, so I can really form a good um, display with it. So Mary says, okay, y'all, I, I gotta leave so I can go and practice StreamYard. Bye, we'll see you later. You're gonna get it together, then you're gonna come show me how to do it. But it is, it is a lot, y'all. She was, we were sitting there, uh, she was going live and just, you know, I'm sitting there, okay, I can hear you, okay, now I can't hear you, okay, the camera angle's bad, okay, now do this, now do that. Um, so it'll be really exciting to see the end result once that's all done. Hey, Patty, how are you doing, babe? Hope you are doing well. Hey, Jeanette. I see I missed a comment from Deborah. Sorry, Deborah. Um, Deborah says, will you still be bringing out a nativity piece each month? Deborah, we are starting with Mary in April. So I think April's going to be Mary. Uh, I'm assuming April will be, no, March is, is Mary. I'm sorry. March is Mary. I think April is Joseph. May is Jesus. And then we'll keep going from there. If I am not mistaken, I know, um, uh, my mom and I, Mary have been talking about that and, uh, coming up with our March calendar. So March, we're not going to have a whole lot of like new pieces. I think we're going to do, um, I think we're going to do one or two spring pieces, but really the uh, gnome, the peace gnome, we released that earlier as far as the blank, but we haven't um, taught it yet. So that one's going to be taught in, uh, in March. I'm having to sit here and think about it so I don't say the wrong thing. That one's going to be taught in March. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to do one and Victoria is going to do one so that you guys can see two totally different looks. I also plan on doing a, a tie-dye 
live at some point. I'm um, hoping soon if I can get my anxiety together. I've really been trying to challenge myself to go live on the regular Yard or Dust page, but for whatever reason, it just sends my body into panic mode. So if I can learn to overcome that sometime soon, I want to go live over there and do a, just a tie-dye tutorial. And so in that case, you'll get a, a tie-dye tutorial from that page that I'll obviously I could share it in the Painters Club. And then you'll also get the full gnome tutorial with tie-dye as well. So y'all pray for me that I can uh, get my anxiety under control. Um, I've really been trying to, you know, kind of get outside of my comfort zone. I'm never going to find control over you know, the panic of going live over there for whatever reason, if I don't continue to work through that. And so it's been something I've just been praying on a lot and thinking on and trying to, trying to get there, but I'm not there yet. So thank you, Patty. Patty says, love this one. Thank you, my dear. I'm just doing a little bit of outline at this point. So anywhere my black is going, it's, it's going there because I have a line there. By the way, y'all, this is a Royal Gold Script Liner. I want to say it's number six. Ooh. No, it's number four. Uh, it's the same one that I always use. This one's just a newer one. So my bristles aren't broken in like my older one is. I like this one right now because I have the, I've, I've broken it in enough to be able to lay it down the way I like to, but it's still really thin to where I can get into really small spaces and do more detailed work with it as well. I've got a little wet paint right there and it keeps kind of pulling up. So I might have to do a little touch up there. All right. So here is uh, your piece outlined. Only thing we got left to do is throw some highlights on here and then we'll be done. Uh, Patty says, you make it look so easy. Thank you, my dear. Honestly, I paint for hours and hours and hours, daily and weekly. And, you know, it's just something that uh, I need to find some old photos. But if I'm being really honest with you guys, over the years, whenever I've seen old photos come up, I'm like, oh, that's so ugly. And I get embarrassed by it and I delete it. And I don't know why I did that. Um, and, but I need to find some of my really old photos so I could show you guys where, how far I've really come because it's not, it's not always been this, this easy, you know, and even then it's not always easy, but I do feel like I have more of a, um, a grip, I guess, on what it is that I am doing and also my brush strokes because that's the hardest part sometimes is just getting your brush stroke down and getting comfortable with different brushes. Different brushes are going to have obviously different strokes. So just adding a little bit of highlights, y'all. Not a whole lot. Keeping it kind of light and airy. And over here. A little bit around the outside. And then by our stripes, I'm going to throw in a little bit on that purple back there. And same thing on the grass over here. That is my finished look with the exception that down here on my wheels, I really need to come in with a little bit of a white highlight, but that is still really, really wet. Let me attempt it. I don't think it's going to work. Um, I will probably just have to wait until it dries would really be best case scenario, but let me just see if I can make it look decent. We'll just leave it like that. <laughs> it's already spreading. All right, y'all. 
There is, let me move my paint, my final piece. Do a little color review here. I've got a uh, reindeer, I started with one coat of white uh, as my base. I then came in at the, uh, at the bottom on my wagon and I did a reindeer brown base coat. My grass is Christmas green. My eggs, I used a combination of uh, pink, coral, sky blue, purple, and seafoam green. And then I came in with my shading. So on my wagon, I did a shading brown and camel dry brush. I shaded in shading brown and I outlined in shading red. And then up here at the top on a seafoam green and sky blue, I used teal for my shader. On coral, I used uh, shading orange for shading. On yellow, I used shading yellow. Pink, I used shading pink. And I think I said purple for shading purple. On my grass, I used a dark green for shading. And then I just outlined in black. And that is my finished. Ooh, let me see it back a little bit. See if that's a little better. There you go. Super duper cute, y'all. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Pam says, very cute. Thank you, Pam. Y'all, I don't uh, have a revised calendar in front of me. I want to see Victoria Gold's live on Sunday. And then I think next week I have the hop letters and I think the cart of eggs. I think the cart of eggs is actually in the academy on Monday. So y'all are not the cart. The <laughs> wheelbarrow of eggs, not the cart. I just did the cart. Uh, so y'all can catch us again then. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. If y'all are interested in this piece, y'all can find it at yardarest.com as well as all the paint color that I used can be found online there. So until I see you guys again, y'all enjoy the rest of your week. Have fun painting. Hopefully everybody's staying warm and I will see y'all on Monday. Bye everybody.